Fivefine sent over the K669C. It's a condenser microphone that is XLR only, and we're not doing an unboxing because it's literally two pieces, the mic and the stand, and as you can see here, XLR only, no USB. But here's the kicker, 36 US for this. The question is, as a condenser microphone that you have to have an interface with, is it worth it? And it's, let's say you have a podcast set up, could you rig out your entire podcast setup with $30 microphones if they sound good? Let's figure that out. And we're comparing them, by the way, to the Mayono USB microphone right here. This is a $20 microphone now. It was 30 when I reviewed it. And we're doing it with also the Fifine K690, which is their higher end USB condenser mic. That's kind of like the Blue Yeti with a bunch of different polar patterns. Anyway, we're plugging it into the Fifine SC3, the Ampli game, but I also have this one to review. There's so many videos coming up on this channel. Please subscribe. Let's get into some sound tests. And for those of you who are going to say, oh my gosh, but YouTube compresses, we can't really hear what it sounds, I get you, okay? So I'm gonna record all of these and actually dump their audio, the WAV file, onto my website. So you can go and grab it and you can do the judging of yourself. You'll have the raw files to be able to see what it sounds like if that's what you want. But in my opinion, if you're getting these to be able to do this kind of content, this is the perfect example of what you're supposed to be looking for, so yeah. Let's get into some sound comparisons. So for all of these examples, we're actually gonna be reading the beginning of The Art of War from Sun Tzu, just so that we have a consistent base. And what we're gonna have is all of these microphones on their stand on the table. I could put them on the boom arm, but this is how they actually come. Let's do a base. Let's go ahead and use the SM7E since you're hearing it. Then we'll get started with the condenser mics. Sun Tzu said, the art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The art of war then is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are the moral law, heaven, earth, the commander, method, and discipline. All right, let's go ahead and jump into in these, to these condenser mics. We're going to do it from the cheapest to most expensive. We'll do the Mayono mic. All of these, by the way, all of these will be linked down in the description if you want to go pick one of them up. We'll do the Mayona mic, then we'll do the XLR K669C connected to the Fifine mixer, and then we'll do the K690 last. Sun Tzu said, The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The art of war then is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are the moral law, heaven, earth, the commander, method, and discipline. Sun Tzu said, The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The art of war then is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are the moral law, heaven, earth, the commander, method, and discipline. Sun Tzu said, The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The art of war then is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are the moral law, heaven, earth, the commander, method, and discipline. So now all of those are recorded. I'm going to go ahead and listen to them and give you my thoughts uh, after I hear them. We're actually going to be listening to them on the Fifine headset that they just sent out. Uh, actually I actually have three of them. This is the H9. We're going to be doing a full comparison of them. We're going to use these for sound test today. Anyway, let's listen to them. All right, so I just listened to all the examples, and I have to... Let's just go ahead and break down each one. Number one, the SM7B is the SM7B. I think it's in a completely different class, and I don't mean by just quality. I mean that 
it's a dynamic microphone. So what you're hearing right now, it's just different. These are condensers and the way dynamics and condensers treat audio is completely different. So just know that that's the case. Looking at this, I'll go ahead and if I was going to rank them, I would say that number three would be the very budget $20 Mayono microphone. When I first reviewed this for $20, um, I think it was awesome for what it was when it was like 30 bucks and I wasn't into the microphone game as much. And as honestly, I still like the sound that comes from this. It was pleasant. It was mixed well. I think the highs were a little too peaked and the bottoms were a little weird. So, but for $20, it's it's twenty dollars is twenty dollars number two uh, i would definitely say the k690 and it's just because i didn't hear much high end and it might just be the eq that's there obviously the some of this is subjective but i did feel like the sound was just compressed and after being someone who's messed with usb as well as xlr over the last couple of years i can tell that this was a usb mic compared to xlr not that it sounded bad, but it's a very versatile mic. It actually has three condenser capsules in this area, so you can get all of the polar patterns. It has, you know, bipolar, omnidirectional, cardioid, as well as stereo. So it has a lot of options, but I just don't think that it sounded anywhere near as good as the $30 K669C. I was actually really impressed that the EQ of this microphone out of box was quite impressive. There was a good amount of highs. It didn't feel like it had a lot of bass. So even if you're a, a deep speaker, it's not going to make your voice very boomy out of box. And again, all of this is subjective. I think you can mix all of this, but out of these three microphones, I do feel like this was the best of the three. And then you can compare it to the SM7B. This is a $30, a $36 microphone that you can pick up. And if you have like, I don't know, a Rodecaster or something and you just need some cheap mics and even the Rode Pod mics for $100 might be out of your budget. These are some really good option for condensers. However, dynamic microphones might be something that you consider. I do have the K669D, which is the exact same price and a dynamic mic that looks very similar to this. We'll be doing a video comparison on that, comparing it to the Rode Pod mic. This microphone and then the other dynamic mics like the uh, like this one here, like the AM8 and the K688. We'll do a comparison in that video of those. So make sure you stick around for that. Please make sure you go check out my blog post where I'll post all of the raw wave files of this so you can hear it for yourself and without the YouTube compression. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and check out those other videos. Check out these two videos. Pick which either one you want. They're both fantastic. And I'll see you over in those videos. Thanks, guys.